Even on a grey day, the views are spectacular. It's no wonder plans to plant new pylons right across Somerset's countryside are unpopular. Because this is a fantastic area. The Mendip Hill is an area of outstanding natural beauty. We want to try and preserve that beauty, the tranquility, and not have these monster pylons dominating our countryside. National Grid wants to install a 400,000 volt power line between Hinkley Point and Avonmouth. If the plans go ahead, 152 foot pylons will be erected. That's double the height of the one behind me and they'll be placed along a 37 mile route throughout Somerset and North Somerset. MP for Wells, Tessa Munt, has been campaigning against the pylons for almost three years. She says there are alternatives. The options are that they should go underground or they could quite simply go under the sea. Now, most of us accept that it's more expensive. The matter of 52 pence a month um, on our electricity bills for putting lines underground, it doesn't even measure against some of the other things that are happening. Members of National Grid had been invited on today's walk but were not able to attend. Campaigners say it shows they're not interested in what local people want. They've had months to find just one solitary employee um, to come here and uh, frankly I think it's disgraceful because local people care so much about this. They have absolutely no understanding. But the team behind the project say they are keen to discuss key issues with the community. In a statement they said, we want to hear about the places that matter to people as local knowledge is vital and will add important details to the information we have already gathered. People living along the proposed pylon route now have until the 23rd of next month to give their views. Alexandra Lodge on the Mendip Hills for the West Country tonight.